Okay, now this is the screen you should see once you log into your Common App account. My screen looks a little different. You'll see the red frame around the window saying practice account. That is because um, I am not actually applying to college. I'm just creating this account to help students through the process. Everything else will look basically the same on your end. Um, the first thing that you'll need to do is add colleges, at least one, to your Common App so that you can see all the different screens we're going to go through. So I'm going to add a couple to my account. The easiest way is just to type in the name of the school. So I'm going to type in Indiana University and you'll see it started pulling up options below. Um, there's more than one Indiana University. Make sure that you select the correct university you would like to apply to. I'm going to select Indiana University in Bloomington. When you click on that plus mark, that goes ahead and adds it to your college list. Um, let's add one more. Let's put in Loyola. And look, it comes up with several different Loyolas. Let's select the Loyola University Chicago and add that to our list. Okay, now once you have added, you know, at least one college that you think you're going to apply to, we can go ahead and take a look at the different tabs here across the top of your screen. Let's start with Dashboard. All right, so under Dashboard, you're going to see all of the colleges that you currently have in your list. Once you fill out more information within each college's application, you will get even more available details. Okay, so I just clicked on Show More Details, and it tells you um, the status of the application as well as the different writing requirements. Um, and we will talk more in detail about that as we go along. The second tab is your My Colleges tab, and this is going to have questions specific to the universities you're applying to. The third tab is the actual Common App. All right, so the Common Application consists of these different sections underneath Common App. You'll see it says Profile, Family, Education, Testing, Activities, Writing, and then Courses and Grades. Those sections comprise what we call the Common App. That is the part of your application that will be sent to every college that accepts the Common App. Right now, I'm recording this in July of 2021, and so the Common App and the My Colleges, those are actually um, still for the class of 2021. Now, you can enter anything under this Common App tab, and it will be brought over into the new application when it launches on October. August 1st. Okay. Um, they call this the Common App Rollover. Okay. So the release, the ro rollover into the next um, application cycle for the class of 2022, that's going to happen on August 1st. So just know that you don't want to actually enter any information into your My Colleges questions here until after August 1st, because right now um, this is information that the class of 2021 had to answer, and there's no guarantee the questions will remain the same for the class of 2022. There also could be minor changes that are made to the Common App questions, but usually there's not very many and they carry over as much information as possible that you have entered in. Um, so you can get started in July on your Common App and know that if as long as you do the um, questions underneath the Common App tab, that information will still be there whenever they release the new application on August 1st. 
Okay. Um, that is going to do it for our brief, like getting started and overview of the different parts of the Common App. This college search, remember, that was just how we found colleges to add. Um, and that, and we don't really talk about the financial aid resources um, through Common App, at least not yet. So go ahead and head on to the next video.